Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk to you about a new program I just discovered. It's been around a while. A lot of you probably already know about it. It's a free program called Cap Frame X. And one thing that's, well, the main thing it does is it captures your frames in whatever game you're playing and then saves them and allows you to analyze them. And it's just kind of fun to do or possibly you're wanting to analyze them for some sort of scientific reason. Also, um, you can put an overlay over the top of your whatever game you're playing. And if you hang on, I'll show you how to do that as we proceed on. So I just installed Cap Frame X, and this is the main capture page. You got these tabs across the top, and uh, I'm on the capture one, the far left one. Hopefully this is showing up good on the TV over here. Um, so by the well, not by default, but I put in a capture uh, time of 30 seconds. So whenever I hit the capture hotkey, which is F11 over here, it will capture 30 seconds. You can make this within reason as big as you want it to be. And then it'll capture all that data for the 30 seconds and then allow you to analyze it. So I just would come over to uh, X-Plane, which I have running here, and just start flying along. And whenever I want to, whenever I'm interested in seeing the performance data, um, and I'm flying with the mouse yoke, so I'm not very good at that, I would just hit the F11 key to start capturing that data and make sure I wait the requisite 30 seconds or 10 seconds, however long you decide to capture data for. And of course, make it a meaningful area where you're interested in the, the frame performance and everything. And then what will happen is it will capture all that data and then allow us to um, analyze it over in the CapFrameX software. And in a minute I'll show you how to put a lot of performance data up here on the screen. Now another thing you can do if you want to analyze this with different settings and you want to get a consistent um, number, you can save your flight. So essentially what you do is you just fly along, you fly the flight, whatever flight you want to fly, and then when you're done, you get to a stopping point, you just go up here and choose File, Save Flight, and I'm going to call it uh, Test Cirrus SR22. I'm going to call it Test 2 because I already have a test. Hit Save. And then if I want to rerun this flight again with maybe some different graphics settings and see what it does to the frame rate, I can just do file, um, load flight, and then find my test to Cirrus replay. And then it'll do the exact same flight again. And I don't have to worry about, you know, my flying it the exact same way or whatever. And you just hit play. And um, I think it is actually, no, it's not playing yet. Here we go, play. There we go. And then, you know, you can drag this slider. Obviously, you don't want to drag the slider if you're capturing frame rate. But um, it will it recorded actually the whole, not just that when you saw me, but from before when I was sitting on the runway. And you can drag this slider. But again, obviously, you don't do that while you're capturing frame rate. So I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to go back over to Cap Frame X. And this is the latest capture we have. I'm just going to click on it and hit Analysis. Now, what comes up? Up here is usually it comes up to here, the frame times, the frame time graph. You can see almost all of our frame times are around the 23 milliseconds or so. So that's how long it takes to draw each frame in milliseconds. And we had this one big spike here for whatever reason. The brown line represents uh, average frame time. Now if I go over to this FPS tab up at the top here, this shows me my frame rate over time, this uh, sort of lime colored uh, graph. And then the dark green is my average frame rate over time, which remained pretty steady. And down here at the bottom, there's a bunch of different parameters that you can go through, but the main ones I would pay attention to is average frame rate, which we see is 44.6, and then our 1% low, which is 32.5. Everybody, I think, knows what average frame rate is. 1% low basically takes the slowest 1% of frame rate and says, what is my frame rate on my 1% worst uh, frames? And when you see a huge disparity, disparity between the 1% low and the average, that can indicate the possibility of some stuttering or 
lack of smoothness. Now, according to this over here, that 99.8% of our frames were considered smooth. Now, I'm not going to go into every single feature of this program. That's kind of for you to do. I'm hitting the high points here. Now, down here, you can show more things on this graph, you know, by ticking these various uh, checks or whatever you want to call them, like maximum frame rate, 1% low integral, all these other things. Um, but the next thing I want to talk about, and, and by the way, there's a lot of tabs across here where you can do all kinds of analysis. Again, I'm going to leave that to y'all to, to play with. But the next one is overlay, which can be really cool. Um, so I'm going to go over to overlay. And you can see here, for that to work, I need the Reva Statistics Server, which is a free program. And I've already downloaded it. But if you click here, it sends you to the page to download it. And I'm going to install it right now. I went ahead and downloaded it because the download on it is a little slowish. It's not a very big program, but I didn't want y'all to have to sit here and wait for it to download. So after it's installed, uh, you got to make sure it's running and it'll run down here in the system tray, which is the area down next to the time. And what, if that's running, we should be able to get our statistics on screen. Bear with it just a moment and we're going to hit finish. And I don't believe it is running, so I'm going to type in Reva, and I'm going to start it up here. And we should see it down here once it's running. And there it is. Now, for this to work, I probably have to, yes, exit Cap Frame X, which I'm going to do, and go back in. So I'm going to open up Cap Frame X again and go to overlay and now we ha we don't have that link here we have this window here and we can choose what on screen this things we want to show on the screen and they've already checked some boxes here which may or may not be helpful um, and i'm not going to go through here and do a whole lot with this but um, what do we want let's see what would be a cool thing to have GPU memory percentage, in other words, how much memory we've used on our GPU and our GPU power and watts that we're drawing can be kind of cool. GPU memory dedicated, how much of our dedicated memory have we used? Um, and let's just go with that. And there's a lot of things on here you could check, of course. And so if we go back over to X-Plane, oh, the other thing you have to do is um, we have to turn on the overlay. So the overlay is on. And let's just uh, unpause this. And for the overlay to work, I wonder if I have to capture one time. Now I may have to actually quit X-Plane and go back in. So we'll do that. I'll, it'll take a second. done this twice. One time it just started working immediately and the other time I had to go back into X-Plane. You can see our performance up here in the upper left corner, our performance overlay. And you may say, oh my gosh, that is so small I can't read it. And you would be correct. However, it's fixable. So while X-Plane is loading, I'm going to go down to the system tray and hit this Reva statistics server. And this is real small too. But I'm going to make it the text bigger by making it bigger in here. On screen, oh Lord, this is small. Where is it you do this? It's in here. Aha, on screen display zoom. You drag this little slider here. It's called, you probably can't read it, on screen display zoom. And I just dragged it bigger, and it's not as big as it can be, but I'm going to make it pretty darn big so you can see what's going on. All right, so there's our on-screen uh, overlay. Now, it's showing every single P-Core and E-Core on this laptop, which is a total of 24. So it's pretty excessive. But you can see down here our GPU uh, temperature is 70-ish degrees. And you can see our memory is at about 50%. We've used almost uh, seven and a half gigs. Our GPU power is 134. Our memory, uh, GPU memory is at 38. 
Uh, of course, our frame rate is at 44 with a 22-ish percent, excuse me, 22 percent millisecond uh, frame time. And if you go back over to um, Cap Frame X, which is down in the system tray right now, and go over to Overlay, we can add and remove some of these things. Real time um, P1 FPS, that's like our 1% low, if I'm not mistaken. Let's hit that and go back over to X Plane. And there's our P1% is 32, per, 32 frames per second. So you just go over here and you can, you know, check any of these boxes that you want in Cap Frame X and you will see, and you can see even how much CPU Cap Frame X is using. Uh, all kinds of things in here you could check and uncheck. I would uncheck a lot of these CPUs because they're just taking up a lot of room and uh, not really providing useful information because we got 24 cores and X-Plane's using like one or two of them. So there you go. There's a little quick overview of CapFrame X, also showing you how to put an overlay within X-Plane. And of course, if you don't want this overlay here, you want it to go away, just go and close the uh, Reva statistics thing and it will go away. Okay, I said it would go away. I think it, uh, CapFrame X, yeah, opened it back up again. So you'd have to close CapFrame X and you would have to close the Reva statistics thing. And they're, they're gone now. So again, there you go. Play with that. Have fun. Do with it as you will. And um, post some comments, I guess.